my channel and welcome to the Ramadan Daily 2022. I am clearly very excited to be filming this. It is officially Ramadan. I'm filming this the day before Ramadan. So I'm just feeling the Ramadan spirit, just scrolling through Instagram and TikTok and everything. And it's such a beautiful feeling. Um, and I'm so excited to share the Ramadan Daily with you guys this year as well. Um, you know, Ramadan Karim, I hope that this Ramadan has reached you in a beautiful state. Um, if it hasn't, then you know, be thankful that God has given you another chance to experience the beauty of Ramadan, the healing of Ramadan. I'm definitely really excited to just you know reap the rewards of this month, benefit from it, and come out a better person and a better Muslim, and you know also be able to share my Ramadan daily series with you guys. This is, I believe, the fifth year of the Ramadan daily, which kind of sounds insane to me but you know it's it's been such a beautiful journey and i'm so excited that each year i do this i have even more people to share it with in this beautiful community um, i feel very aisha circa like 2012 in this outfit i'm wearing this beautiful abaya that my friend actually bought for me while i was in dubai and um, yeah, I have my hijab. I never really tie my hijab like this anymore. Also, side note, this is not my skin. I have a bodysuit under this because the abaya was kind of low. So as exciting as everyday content sounds, um, I have always wanted to do more with my platform and just, you know, utilize the influence that I've built with this community to do something a lot better. So for the past two years, I've partnered up with Islamic Relief USA to help raise food boxes for our Muslim brothers and sisters fasting around the world that are in dire need um, and you know really extreme situations. In the past, we've donated for Yemen, we've donated for Syria, and I'm so like blessed and just so thankful that this year Islamic Relief USA has chosen to focus on Ethiopia. For those of you who don't know, first of all, I am Ethiopian. Um, I come from a Haredi culture, which is a tribe in Ethiopia, and I actually just came back from my trip there last month. Um, which was a very beautiful but humbling experience. Uh, for the past nearly two years, Ethiopia has been in a very unfortunate situation. Um, in the Tigray region, there has been extreme war, there's been poverty, you know, there's been mass killings, there's been, you know, sexual violence uh, among the civilians and children and women, and just many other things and I will spare you guys the details because it is the first day of Ramadan but it's really important to note when there are Muslim Muslim brothers and sisters like suffering in this world um, and especially when we have the means to help them so um, we're gonna be donating food boxes or we're gonna be raising funds for food boxes in those regions unfortunately I believe some regions in Ethiopia are blocked off due to the war um, which you know is a separate situation in and of itself um, but you know whatever Islamic Relief can do they will be providing food boxes for people in need and on top of that I think I forgot to mention there is also um, a drought that is further escalating the whole poverty situation. I do have a goal in mind of $5,000 so that we can help these Ethiopians um, that are really suffering at the hands of their oppressors so I believe we can do way more than that Okay, because we have fundraised almost $30,000 in the first year and I believe almost $25,000 last year. So inshallah, we're able to do, you know, close to that, if not way more um, for the people of Ethiopia. I feel like a lot of the times black Muslims are, you know, they're not as sympathized for as other Muslim cohorts, which is really unfortunate. So inshallah, with this campaign, we can do that. Um, for $75, if you donate $75, that will be able to provide uh, one food box for an entire family for the entire month of Ramadan. I believe the food box weighs about 75 pounds, um, and that will last them throughout the month of Ramadan, uh, which is amazing. And of course, if you donate more, you'll be able to, you know, help more families out. But at the very least, you know, helping one, even just one Muslim in general, you know, with one meal during the month of Ramadan, is very very rewardable so inshallah we can make a big difference i will have the link in my description box all throughout ramadan it will be at the top of the description box so you guys can donate to uh, the fundraiser and inshallah we can make a good difference so with that being said i do want to share the rest of the vlog with you guys which is actually part three of my ethiopia vlogs i do want to preface that my experience in ethiopia is a lot different than majority of 
you know, the experiences of Ethiopians that live there. Um, two thirds of the population is in poverty. So while you guys watch these vlogs, I just want to make sure that you realize how privileged I am to have these experiences. And while I do speak positively of the experiences that I have, because I don't want to, you know, take that away. Ethiopia is a beautiful country and there's so much to experience. I don't want that to negate the fact that there are many Muslims suffering in the country and just, you know, people, people in general. Um, so yeah, just keep that as a reminder, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Um, and yeah, part four, the last part of my Ethiopia vlogs will be coming tomorrow. And yeah, I think I've talked to your guys' ears off enough. This video is already long enough and um, I will see you in tomorrow's Ramadan daily video. Enjoy. And again, Ramadan Mubarak, I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you do enjoy this video and would love to carry on with the Ramadan daily vlogs and give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for me to vlog for the next 30 days, okay? Because I need your excitement because maybe that'll be motivation to actually post every single day. <laughs> I love you guys, um, bye, enjoy. We're taking one taxi for six luggages. <laughs> Hello. And five of us. And five of us, no, there's four of us. And my little cousin is taunting me with my own videos. <laughs> Why are you taunting me with my own videos? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I don't want it. You don't want it? Say yeah. hi, I'm Nadim. I'm Nadim, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to Addis. Mm -hmm. We're at my, my dad's other aunt's hand. house. This is where I spent a month, of, over yeah, a month of my yeah. life when I was yeah. nine years old because my, my parents mother. left me <laughs> to I fend almost, for myself. I almost died in this spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got oh yeah, you went to the hospital, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Literally, that. Literally, I was stuck oh, in this like yeah. spot right here. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get up or anything. Ooh. Uh, you spell like that. What? <laughs> Isha Harun? Just look at how he's spelling my name. <laughs> that's how he spelled my name. I mean, honestly, phonetically, that's correct. Yeah. If you like this video, yeah. oh, and the Dubai one? Please. Oh, he's so cute. He's so, you want to say, you want to say hello, Magus? This is my cousin, Magus. That's his dad. <laughs> yeah, we just got to my aunt's house. It's so nostalgic being here because like I said, I spent so much of my life here. This is a little like front area. I used to sit here and stare at people who came through the gate, but oh my god, this looks so different than what I remember it. Like completely different. <laughs> it's my first time meeting my little cousin. I see you. So yeah, take it. I'm Nettie. Mm -hmm. If you know me, please subscribe me. <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning! Now that it's daytime, I can finally show you guys what this all looks like. We're at our aunt's house, my other, my mom's other sister, her oldest sister. And um, yeah, we're about to actually head out now, but I just wanted to show you guys. These were the pink walls that I lived between for a month of my life by myself. My parents left me here. I slept in this room, I'm pretty sure. It was right here for a while with a mirror, and then I, I moved into my aunt's room. But um, yeah, she took me around to all the weddings. I saw Afar weddings. I saw like all different types of weddings. <laughs> and Agaman Haya. Yeah, always good times here. And uh, yeah, so today my dad is taking us around. Not quite sure where we're going, but I guess we shall see. I even remember like the outside part. Like we'd always play marbles here. This okay. is the car. Yeah. What is it? Toyota? Hyundai? <laughs> oh, you hit her? What happened? 
Oh. Oh shoot. She's so cute. I remember I used to take little money for for gum, and there'd be like a little gum store over there that I would always buy. Banana mastica. Where are we going today, Daddy? Uh, we going to. Where are we going? Uh, Furi area. Furi. In Addis Ababa region, Furi uh -huh. area. Uh -huh. Yeah, but. And then we are going to CMC. Okay. And we are going to Beto. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to Asko at Disu Safar. Okay. So all over Addis Ababa, like we are circling the whole city. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's let's do it. We already kind of made a stop earlier at um, Sada's aunt's house, but right now we're at my dad's house that he built here. Someone lives here though. So we're just kind of touring it to see what it looks like. As I was saying, this is my dad's house that he built. And he just wanted us to see it. But a family lives here already. It's a main gate. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a bathroom, it's not finished. I make it like for jacuzzi. Mm. Wow. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with an island and everything. Wow. This is nice. <laughs> you ain't got no roaches. <laughs> it's nice. Wow, very nice. So that's just for show? Yeah, for show. Anyway, this, yeah, is, my God. Show. this is the real also, kitchen. Also, just you can put in there to warm up and serve the This people. is what you call a butler's kitchen. Yeah. yeah. We have a thing here. This uh, well. Oh. Can have a well? But it's dry, yeah. Mm. Cool. Tanker, and this is a tanker. First, when the water comes, we fill it up this one. This one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Takes it up. I haven't vlogged all day, but I reunited with my cousin Samaya. You guys remember her from Romania? Yeah. Three, three years ago? Yeah. Four years ago. Uh, five, five years ago. Yeah. yeah, it's been so long. We're at this restaurant right now, and apparently it's the best, right? Yeah, yeah the best so in the city. So we're gonna enjoy it. Let's go up. It's like an Italian restaurant. Uh, well, because I was gonna go, but then the lady ran in front of me, and then my dad ran in front of me. Finish up. What? Mm, they just brought us some appetizers. Wow. <laughs> 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 wow, I got chicken parmesan, my dad got a combo, so he has chicken parmesan, steak, and fish. That's a lot of food. A lot of food. Mm -hmm. This looks so <laughs> yeah. good though. Oh my god. She was like, look at that. Yum. Wow, that looks good. Look at him, he's so hungry, he's doing that daddy's food. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Five loaves. And it's loaves. delicious. Five loaves. Loaves. Oh. Five loaves. Check it out. We're in Addis. It is Sunday and we're headed to today actually. One of our friends from Australia, he's getting married to a girl who and it happens to be the same time that we are in the city, so we're actually headed to the Nikah right now. Luckily, I actually packed this dress and also this one so Sada was able to wear it. Otherwise, she had some like random <laughs> sheets looking dress. Sorry, dress that was a little too plain. Yeah, it was very plain, but um, we're headed there with Sumaya. She's up in the front. Oh no, my battery's dying. I guess I put the wrong one in here. But I guess I'll vlog on my phone for the rest of this, but this is the first time we're wearing makeup today, too. <laughs> or like since this trip. 
So right now we're at the groom's family's house and I ran into Afnan and she said she watches my channel and she said she wants to say hi. So you want to say something? You want to say hi to your sisters? Maybe they're going to watch this on YouTube. <laughs> Are you shy? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is Afnan and yeah we're just we're hanging out we're waiting to go to the girl's house the bride's house and then do the nikah we're running a little behind but we just had breakfast did you eat breakfast yeah. what did you eat harish harish did you have fatira yeah yeah is it yummy yeah yeah me too i had the same thing it was very good all right the lighting. <laughs> we are en route to the wedding or the nikah did you charge your phone? I think? Uh, my phone's charged, yeah. But I'm just using my phone now because my battery died. But she made us stay at her house. No electricity, no hot no, water. No, no, no. It was a nice place, though. It was. That's the thing about Ethiopia. It's just unpredictable. You don't yeah. know when the electricity will be cut off in what neighborhood. But yeah, we're headed to the girl's house now to do the nikah. And um, yeah, we don't know what to expect, but everyone's been really nice and very accommodating. Ismaan met a fan today. Aisha. So cute. Oh, sorry. Aisha met a fan today. They always call me Ismaan, even on their podcast. I'm like, hello. I know. My I, name is Aisha. I, I, I'm, 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 no, I'm, 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 I'
We're in the middle of Intoto Park and there's this really huge restaurant. It's actually really nice. They built this all in like one year. They did such a good job. So nice. And it's like right outside the city. It's not even like far or anything. Look at this. This is so nice. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. The view over there looks sick. Yeah. This door. Mm -hmm. I am honestly so impressed by all of this. Like, so impressed that like all of this was done within a year. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I feel like a project like this would take years to build even in North America, let alone Ethiopia. But he put his mind to it. This is so nice. Oh my god, these steps are so high. <laughs> These steps are so high. I know. Wow. Exactly like Los Angeles. Yeah. I can't believe how beautiful all of this is. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Golden hour. Nilahana. You know Golden hour? No. Just when the sun is setting, oh. aman, aman, glow, e, glow, e. Hey, Jackie. Here. What? <laughs> no, hey, Jackie. <laughs> look how beautiful my cousin is. Do we look alike? We yeah, look we look alike. alike. We're family. <laughs> First cousins. Oh, they're all the way up there. This park is too nice. <laughs> this guy keeps taking our photos. <laughs> He's our photographer. Unprovoked. <laughs> Oh, for us. <laughs> yeah. Amana <laughs> Wow, thank you. She's taking us to a nice place. This is beautiful. This is still part of Intoto, but this is like the view area where you can see like all of a dis and it is so beautiful. Look at this. Wow. This is beautiful. So we're back home now, and I've united with all of my little nieces and nephews, my cousin's kids. Oh my god, they all just popped their head in at the same time. <laughs> Look how many there are! So what's your name? Salim. Salim. <laughs> this is Nuha. And this that is Nadim. The famous is good. <laughs> Nadim. This is Citra. This is Dania. Ika. Danu. 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 And Mantush, 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 Nia, Nia, Habibi, So many kids. Look at this. And this one, she's only quiet because her mom's not here right now. Once she sees her mom, she's gonna be loud. There's so many of you guys. Say hi. 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 You guys are gonna see yourself on TV. Yes. On no. YouTube. On YouTube, you're gonna see yourself. There's one missing. She's one years old. She's not here right now. Okay. Here, go do something. Go beat him here. No. Nicely though, nicely, nicely. Softly. Yeah, softly. Go. Lit. Oh, 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 oh. This is what's been going on for the last 10 minutes. Look at her. No, don't push her. Don't push her. Don't push her. getting attacked. <laughs> These girls are so quiet. They're so nice. They just sit and watch. Do we look alike? We kind of look the same. Amir, don't we look alike? What? No, me and Sutra? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Don't we? We do, right? Yeah, we do. Final match. Final match. Ready. Ready. That's my go, other cousin. Go, go. And his wife. <laughs> uh oh, be careful. Guys, you know I'm gonna be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it is Monday. We're going around visiting our family. I have my dad's sister Hamdia here. Hamdia. They say we look alike. Hi. <laughs> they say we look alike. What do you guys think? <laughs> Her kids are actually in DC. Here's my dad's stepmother as well. 95? Yeah. Really? Yeah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. 95 years old. Two of my grandmas are 95 years old. But she just showed us their house. Actually, let me just show them inside. Because the traditional Harari house is very nice in here. They did a really nice job. 
They have marble floors. And then here, this is so pretty. They put like gold, so it still looks like the traditional Harari home with the nadebas, but they made it look so nice. The one thing that I wanted to show you guys actually was this really cool old sewing machine from my dad's dad, so my grandpa. He had a shop in a city called Agaro. This is like the old antique sewing machine. Like they used to call it Singer, but it's Singer. <laughs> This is probably like 80 years old or something. So it's covered in dust, but I was just saying like this could totally be like a sold in an antique shop for so much. It's so beautiful. And then the other part of it is here as well. Yeah, you can like, I think push this or something. I don't know how it works, but if you push this, it starts moving and, and yeah, so just, I don't know, I thought that was really cool. I never got to meet my grandpa, but see little pieces of him. But that's it, Aman. Hi, Aman, bye, bye. <laughs> last time I'm gonna see her. I'm bye. leaving in a couple days, but yeah. You wanna say hi to you? <laughs> it's mommy. <laughs> okay, let's una. Yeah, take this picture. Mm -hmm. These tiny little, tiny little tires are going down all of this rocky. <laughs> Struggles in Ethiopia. I see you. <laughs> we are headed to Kuriftu right now, which is a water park um, slash resort. It's a nice pool. So we've made it to Kuriftu. To be honest, it is a lot nicer than I expected it to be. I didn't think it was going to be like an actual resort. I thought we were just going to a lake. But it's kind of nice here. Um, there's not many rooms left right now, unfortunately. But I think, I think we were able to find one. It is so pretty here. Look at this. Literally feels like I'm in like Bali or something. It's gorgeous. But um, we didn't really come with a reservation, so <laughs> definitely recommend you get one of those before trying to come here. But my dad's trying to sweet talk and see if we can get a good room. We just saw one. It doesn't look bad. It's just like right in front of the children's water park, so it's kind of like loud, but hopefully we can find something that works. I'm gonna go check on them. I'm excited. This is gonna be the first time we're like staying in like a nice place and enjoying some luxury here in Ethiopia, but let's see what's going on. Nice. But this is nicer view. <laughs> the other one was just a water park. Yeah. Okay, let's give them a room tour. Kuriftu room tour. So this is our door that we walked in from. And then come out to here to like a large like balcony yes. area. You see this one made of uh, cow. Cow what? Hide. Yeah. Have like a bed over here which my dad claims he's gonna sleep on. <laughs> And then out here, you have a beautiful view of the lake, Kuriftu Lake. Oh. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> 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 and then you walk out here, or in here. And this is like the main bedroom area. So has a TV, bed, single beds. Huge closet, and then through here is the bathroom. Ooh, this is cool. Beautiful bathroom. Nice shower. Toilet, and we're good to go. 
I don't know what this basket is for, but it's nice, I guess. But yeah, we're just here for one night. Um, Sara's not here right now because she's actually staying at her aunt's house. Sorry, Sara, you're missing out on this. But yeah, we're just gonna enjoy an evening here. And um, yeah. Did you bring your sandal? It's beautiful. We just checked into our room and it's so beautiful. It has like a gorgeous view of the lake and everything and it just has this like beautiful walkway. So I can't wait till the morning. I feel like we're gonna see sunrise or something. Ooh, let's go down here. What's here? We're just kind of exploring now before sunset. Oh, I think it's just a dinner area. It's very beautiful, very lush and green. Wow, imagine eating right there. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is nice. No, no, this is not for swimming. Not for swimming? This one? Why? Dirty? Uh, I mean, maybe contaminated, but I don't know. No. No one is swimming, not allowed. Maybe there's a riptide? A riptide? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. This is a lake. Yeah, lakes can have riptides. Nah. Yeah, they can. Riptides are when... L lakes can have riptides. What are riptides again? When the... When the what's nah, it called? there's no way. Amir! Yes, they can. That's how the actress died. Tell us That's how that actress died in LA. In a lake? The Canadian one, yeah. In a lake? Yes, the girl from Degrassi, remember? Yes. Don't disrespect her. <gasps> Rude. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 this one. Yeah. This, this one. It's like slippery, that's why. Yeah. You have to hold it back. Watch those ants crawl up on your legs. What is that? A cow is swimming? Look, I think he's walking on the bottom. Mm. I didn't know cows could swim. <laughs> this is the first time. Did y'all know cows could swim? I'm so confused. I guess we're going canoeing. Let's <laughs> him. <laughs> okay, hopefully everything goes well. I had to bring my phone so that my camera, I don't have to keep switching, but we're canoeing now. My dad's with the instructor over there just so he doesn't be by himself. Now we're enjoying a nice sunset on the lake. So peaceful. Mia's doing all the work for me. <laughs> Pizza looks pretty valid. Ooh, we got a cheese pull and everything. It's gonna be so hot. <laughs> hot? <laughs> wow, mashallah. Looks so good.